Hello and welcome to another presentation using the S92 Interactive Systems Trainer. Today I'm going to talk about performance charts. So clicking on the performance charts icon will bring you to this worksheet which I've called the Performance Class 1 Maximum Takeoff Mass Calculations. It also calculates the rejected and continued takeoff distance. Okay, so these calculations, I mean, they, it's quite user friendly to, to do it this way and it gives you a good understanding of how environmental conditions will limit the performance of your aircraft. You can simply click on you know, PAs and temperatures and see what limitations you're going to have on that particular day. To do the calculations, I'll put the charts into Excel. So I've used the maximum takeoff and landing gross weight uh, based on 150 feet per minute, uh, one engine in operative climb at 100 feet above the takeoff surface. The rate of climb at LSALT is the forward climb performance, uh, this engine, maximum continuous power, and rejected and continued takeoff distance is obviously the category A rejected and continued takeoff distance to chart. So to do the calculation, if you're taking if you're departing for an offshore operation, you've generally departed at um, somewhere close to sea level, so a 300 from PA was, never, was not uncommon for us. In Australia, 34 degrees is very common. Flying offshore, if you fly directly offshore in Australia, the minimum LSALT was 1,500 feet, so, so PA of 1,800, temperature there, standard lapse rate, uh, maybe about 30, 31 degrees. And the rate of climb performance we were required to maintain post a single engine failure at our life safe altitude was 50 feet per minute. That can be changed just to see how it affects your, your performance. Unfactored headwinds, now we generally always calculate it at zero. If you're really certain what the winds are, you can put 10 degrees in here or you can just play around with it and see what effect it's going to have on your ejected and continued takeoff distance. But the most conservative way to do it would just be to select zero. And TDP, we had a set TDP speed of 45 knots. So once you've entered all your environmental conditions, down here is uh, down here are your limitations. Sorry. So obviously on this, uh, you're using these environmentals, you're limited to 11,860 kilos or 26,147 pounds, and that is based on your maximum takeoff mass performance. So this chart here gives you a, a more limiting weight than what your rate of climb at LSALT does. Okay, so what have we got here? Uh, 11.91 and 11.860. So this is more limiting. So you'd have to take off at or below this weight in order to get your climb performance for a single engine failure uh, during your, your, your takeoff post TDP. Project your continued takeoff distance of 691 metres in this case. And you can see here, unfactored headwinds of zero, TDP of 45, and what have I got? Temperature 34 and 300, so 300 feet and up to 34 degrees. And that gives you your projected and continued takeoff distance. Now, as I said, this is just a more of a fun way to, to look at how environmental affect the performance of your, of your aircraft. You can put in a whole lot of different numbers here and see what, what sort of weight limitations you have for those those conditions. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. If you like it, please hit the like button down below for a comment. Um, you can contact me at radial training solutions at gmail.com. On back to the home page, I've already got the electrical system video up and the hydraulic system video up for the S92. I've got a bunch of AW139 videos you can watch and I'll be working on the fuel system in the next uh, couple of weeks and also the cruise charts. Okay, thank you very much for listening.